Obama is a fiction. Obama is a creation of the media. Obama is a creation of the world media. Obama is a multiracial man who it looks to me has never had no said to him. This is a child who was given everything on a silver platter. He was a bright guy, could speak well, learn well, memorize well, knew how to navigate his way around the ultra left wing of uh, Hawaii, got a scholarship to Punahou, uh, got into uh, Harvard on affirmative action, was selected for one thing after another. No one ever stood up to him and said anything. You could see when he gets rejected on anything, the guy looks lost. I mean, I'm an observer of reality. He looked shaken today, and not for the first time when he went off script. He doesn't understand the world he's in. The guy is over his head. He reaches out to Ahmadinejad, the Hitler of our time, and the guy the next day Ahmadinejad says it shows America's weak. He closes Gitmo to ask him where he's putting the prisoners he doesn't know. He appoints one tax dodger after another, doesn't understand the American people are not going to accept it, and they don't accept it. Even the New York Times turns on him. And this is within two weeks. I told you yesterday that he has gone, he is going to be seen as the president with the shortest honeymoon of any president in modern history. And if you were to poll the American people today, he doesn't have these sky-high approval ratings that the vermin in the media are telling you he has. Oh, yeah, sky-high approval ratings from when? From before they saw the man in action? He doesn't have sky-high approval ratings. The guy is being seen for what he is. That's my opinion. Florida, Jerry, you're on the Savage Nation. What do you think? Go ahead, please. Hello, Dr. Savage. My name is Jerry, and I did vote for Obama. As a matter of fact, I gave $100 to his campaign, thinking that, uh, you know, this man was going to make a difference. I would have given this man several thousand dollars to help reduce our government debt, but yet all he wants to do is go out there and spend a trillion and get us deeper in debt. I'm truly disappointed with my decision. Uh, just as easily as we voted him into office, I think we can vote him out of office, and they better beware. Well, uh, you're not saying that if he keeps this up, there's going to be an impeachment call within a year, because it could happen, you know. You know, I've already thought about putting out for uh, bumper stickers that say impeach Obama. What's interesting is that 47 million Americans said no to Obama. I would estimate 10 million people went over to the other side out of uh, uh, just pure, un unmitigated disgust for the Republican Party, not because they wanted to embrace Obama. And I would say that there may be a majority in America who would want this man impeached, but not yet. Once they come to understand how radical he is, how off the charts of even the Democrat plan he is, once they see through who this man is, there could be calls for impeachment within a year. It could happen. I'm not saying it could happen today, but it could happen. And I'm saying to you that Obama better get in the center of the Democrat Party and stop running it from the far left, because the American people have had enough of this extremism, and we've had it in two weeks. Five executive orders in less than a week. You know that? And he's not hiding a thing. He is just totally open and outright with it. Well, there you go. We'll have to wait and see. the. In one week, he passed five executive orders. One week, five executive orders, try to shove a pork barrel bill down our throats that your grandchildren will be paying for, and we're supposed to give him 100 days. Had we not stood up to him, there wouldn't be a country left in 100 days. Right now, the guy is humbled. Maybe he'll start to understand this is the real world, that it's not Chicago. Play Chicago by Frank Sinatra. That's all. How are you? How are you? How are you? Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you around. I love it, bet your bottom dollar you lose the blues in Chicago, Chicago, the town that Billy signed.